guys welcome back to my channel and today we have an exciting topic for you guys on how to become a amazon seller in india we are going to go over it step by step for those of you who don't know me i'm chavi agarwal a blogger a youtuber and an online business coach we create videos on working from home and making money online so don't forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to my channel now let's get started without wasting any more time three reasons why i think amazon is a great place to start is first of all there is demand with the pandemic people are becoming more comfortable ordering online and amazon is the most trusted platform on the internet right now the second one is that it is easy to set up an amazon seller's account amazon makes it absolutely simple to start selling on their platform and start making money versus creating your own website on shopify for example or wordpress and creating your own e-commerce platform which is a lot of investment a lot of time the third thing is that you can earn money on autopilot now if you start selling on amazon if you have cracked the code if your products are getting reviews and comments and if it starts showing up in search results you will be making sales while you are sleeping you are going to make a ton of money as you sleep because you don't have to do things constantly if you want to become an amazon seller in india i want you to consider three things the first thing is to find a product which is fast moving competitive and which can sell on amazon so your product should be in demand should be profitable and the investment should be according to what you are ready to invest the second thing is to understand your costs of procurement as well as selling on amazon a, there are a lot of fees that amazon takes from you and we will get into that a little later in this video but understand your costs and the last thing is to make sure that you have all the documents especially your bank account and gst number and your pan card now before we move on to any more tips let's look at how you can get started on the amazon app so the first thing we have to do is to register ourselves as a seller on amazon india so we are going to go to sell.amazon.in once it opens up start on start selling now it has already logged into my account so the first thing that you have to do is to either sign up or log in it's going to ask you for a company or a business name so we are just going to name it as test account for youtube video click on i have read and agreed and complied with the things your bank account details for receiving payments and your tax gst and pan are two things that you need to have before you begin you're going to verify your number that has already been verified because i have logged into my account now store name is going to be test store select the product category so let's say that you are selling books add the address for your business and click on continue let's just say book well and click on continue this is also not available so you can enter the address so here it's going to ask you whether or not you want to do an amazon easy ship that is you store and pack orders at your location and amazon picks it up from the above address and delivers to customer this is what we are going to talk about a little later but this is what i recommend because it is easy um to handle and it is comparatively cheaper than amazon fba that is fulfilled by amazon so i'm going to tick that this is fulfillment by merchant that is you ship using your own courier service this is another option that you have so if you're comfortable with this you can tick that so you have to enable two step verification before you can actually access it so i have received a message on my phone and i have to approve it so i have done that you can do it via your email as well so we are going to just enter the number and continue enter the otp that you get on an sms and click on continue this is where it explains what happens so basically you sign in with your password and error message will occur and otp will be sent to your preferred phone and you need to authenticate using your phone and use the otp click and sign in again this is when you will be able to sign into your amazon account you can click on don't require otp for this browser if you're using one computer so i got it please turn on two step verification process now you're going to have to update your tax details so select the state that you are in this will automatically be selected depending upon what address you had put in the previous steps 
this is your legal seller name you have to put your gst number here and pan card because this is a test account i am going to update it later now before you proceed and get a gst number just check whether or not whatever you are going to sell the product that you are going to sell falls in the gst exempted category because if it does then you don't need a gst number going to click on next so hi bookwell 1 2 3 you are almost there start listing the products you wish to sell you can look at this you can watch this video and learn how to list your products it selected easy ship it is informing me that easy ship charges are 27 rupees for local 45 rupees for regional and 65 rupees for national shipping for standard size items and lesser than 500 grams you can check out the amazon shipping charges here we are also going to deal with this later in this video two options you can either select offer free shipping that means you have to include that in your pricing or you can set a fee then you have to give your bank account details enter your tax details if you don't have a gst number you at least need a pan card number you have to select the product tax code and then you have to upload a signature and launch your business so once you have updated all this information you can launch your business i'm not going to do that because this is a test account i'm going to continue to seller central so this is the window that is going to be opened so here you can find the news that is optim how to optimize your search terms for example this is the deposit method your deposit method is missing or invalid right now this is required so that they can send the amount to you in your account this is return address you have to include a return address so when consumers when your customers return a product they know what address it needs to be uh, sent to if there is any action needed from your side it's going to be sh shown here you have to launch your business like i said and then you can start adding a product by clicking here here you can see the orders that you have received the amount that you have made today any buyers message if you have to see your account health your customer feedback the total balance that is there etc you can go to catalog add a new product so you can either find on you can either find the product on amazon's catalog and if it is not there then you can say i am adding a product not sold on amazon or i'm uploading a file to add multiple products and proceed accordingly you can get a lot of help here and you can get a lot of help about adding products here and it is extremely easy to do so just check that out you can manage your inventory by going to the inventory tab so you can manage your inventory here you can take the tour which makes it extremely simple similarly you can check out the pricing you can manage the pricing see the pricing health fix pricing alerts you can check and manage your orders here if you are spending on advertising then your campaign manager is going to be here you can check out the growth you can refer a friend the report the various reports for payments selling coach business reports return reports custom reports etc you can check your performance here and there's everything all the information that you need as a seller is going to be available to you on amazon seller central india platform which is which we just went through okay this is exactly how you can set up your shop on amazon okay now let's talk a few things about selling on amazon the first thing is delivery how you are going to deliver the products to your customers so the first thing is fulfillment by merchant that is you so uh, if you select fulfillment by merchant you will be responsible to deal with the entire shipment for your company and to ensure that the product reaches the uh, customer who has ordered the second one is fulfillment by amazon so what you do is to send your products to amazon fulfillment centers and they take the entire responsibility for packing it for packaging and sending it to your target customer now amazon obviously takes a lot of fees for this and the third one is amazon easy shipment program that means that you can have a warehouse or or uh, anywhere where you store the products and whenever somebody orders it the amazon guys come and pick up the order from you and then they deliver it to the customer now this is the option that i want you to start with because it is easiest and it is comparatively cheaper from figuring it out on your own and from amazon fba 
So let's just understand the fees a little. So we are going to discuss what are the different types of fees that Amazon takes from you. So the first one is a referral fee and it starts at 2% and depends upon the product that you are selling. The second one is the closing fee and it starts at 2 rupees and it again varies by product's pricing range. Weight handling fees starts at 28 rupees per item shipped and varies by item volume and distance. And there are some other fees and it is applicable only for certain fulfillment channels, programs or services. You can see that the referral fee is going to be based on the category. So if you are selling books for example then it's going to be 2% for the item price which is lesser than 250, 4% for above 250 and lesser than 500, 9% for above 500 and lesser than 1000 rupees and 13% for greater than 1000 rupees. So you are going to pay them a referral fee of up to 13% if you're selling books. So you can check out your product category and see what is the amount of referral fee you're going to pay to Amazon. So the next one was closing fee. Now you can see here what is going to be your closing fee. It is also going to be dependent on what kind of delivery mechanism you're going to use. So this is for Amazon FBA. This is for easy ship. And if you're select, if you're going ahead with self shipping, then this is going to be your fixed closing fee. Now weight handling fees is applicable to you if you use either easy ship or fulfillment by Amazon. So you have to consider that if you're using either one of them, if you're using self ship, you will have to bear the cost of shipping and delivery through third party courier services anyway. Now other fees is mostly applicable to the people, to the sellers who are using fulfillment channel. That is, you have to give them pick and pack fee, the storage fee, removal fee, etc. So if you're going with the option of fulfillment by Amazon, this is something that you have to take into consideration. So as you can see here, um, Amazon FBA is going to take care of storage, packaging and shipping for you. According to them, it makes sense only if you're selling a large volume of products, selling products with higher margins. And if you want to save time and scale your business or have oversized products, then FBA makes sense. Now we are going to see how to calculate your profit with FBA. So the first thing you need to do is to select your category. So we had books up to 250 rupees, let's say. So the referral fee is going to be 2% of it. Then you have to going to determine your closing fee. So because the item range is around 250, it's going to be 25 rupees. The closing fee is going to be 25 rupees. And we are going to see, you have to select a size. So we are going to go with the standard size. So if you are going to opt for FPA fulfillment fees, then you are going to pay 10 rupees for pick and pack, 20 rupees per cubic foot per month for the storage fee and shipping fee as per the table here. So if it is lesser than 500 grams and it is a local shipping than this, then you have to give 28. If it's regional 38, if it's national 59. So they have given uh, an example of how you can calculate it. So their product dimension is given here, unit weight is giving, given here and the listing price is let's say 18,900. So the first thing is referral fee. It's going to be 7%. Then there is a closing fee of 30 rupees. The product type is standard and shipping and other fees is going to be 38 rupees and you're going to pay 18% GST on top of it. So referral fee, closing fee, fulfillment fee and tax, that is 18%. So out of 18,900, they have to give 1391 30, 30, plus 18% GST as the fee to Amazon. So you can see that Amazon FBA is actually pretty expensive if you go with it. So the next one is easy ship. So you are going to store the products. You can pack your products using Amazon packaging material or your own packaging material. And then you will schedule a pickup and an Amazon agent will deliver your products to the customer. So let's calculate your profit with easy ship. So in our example, we are going to talk about books. So books up to 250 rupees, you are going to give them 2%. So let's say that you're selling a book for 200 rupees. So your Amazon referral fee is going to be 2%, that is 4 rupees. Amazon closing fee is going to be 5 rupees. Your shipping fee varies based on the distance the product is going to be shipped. So you can select whether it is local, regional or national. 
So let's go with local for this example and enter the approximate weight of the product. Let's say it's 300 grams. So your Amazon shipping fee is going to be 38 rupees. So your total Amazon fees is going to be 47 rupees and then there is an 18% GST on it that is 8.46 rupees. So the total service fees that you're going to give to Amazon is going to be 55.46 rupees. So if you are selling a product at 200 rupees, then you are going to make 144 rupees as your profit. Third option is self shipping. So you will store your products, you will pack your products and you are going to ship your products to the customer. So the entire delivery mechanism is going to be handled by you. Take the same example for self shipping as well. So let's say that you're selling books up to 250 rupees and your selling price is 200. So we are going to calculate the fees. And let's say that the approximate cost of shipping the product comes up to 50 rupees. So you're going to pay 2% to Amazon as referral fees. So that is 4 rupees. Closing fee is going to be 6 rupees. So total Amazon fees is 10. And then there is GST that is 1.8. So you are going to give Amazon 11.8 without the delivery charges. So you are going to make 188.2. And your cost of shipping the product, let's say, is 50 rupees. So the total charges that the total cost that is incurred to you to sell the product to your customer is 61.8. So your net amount that you're going to make is 138.2. So this is how easy ship, self ship and fulfillment by Amazon works. Now let's talk about how you can sell better on Amazon. So my first tip is to encourage buyer to leave reviews and star ratings for you. What you can do is to email them and encourage them to leave a review for you and to give you a star rating. And the second thing that you can do is to, along with their product, send a card which says something like, if you review and leave a star rating, depending upon how you like the product, click a picture of it and WhatsApp you or email you, they will get a 10 to 20% discount on their next purchase. I have seen sellers doing it for products that I have purchased and it works. The second thing is to try and participate in deal of the day and lightning deals because those are the ones that get maximum exposure. The third thing that I want you to do is to write SEO optimized product descriptions. Now, people get really lazy while writing product descriptions, but let me tell you, write as much as you can about the product. The more you write, the more keywords you use and the possibility of people landing on your product because of the words that you have used increases by leaps and bounds. So think about what your customer is going to put in the search result and try to use all of those words. The approach would be to go and check what others have written in others have written. What is your competition writing? So if you are selling shoes, for example, go and type shoes, check out the product description for the top three re organic results and see what kind of keywords they have used. The next tip is to use high quality pictures because customers like to zoom and see what exactly they're getting. The clearer picture you upload, the better it is, the happier your customer is going to be. The next one is to set competitive pricing, not too high, not too low. This is how you can become a seller, an Amazon seller in India. Now, before we end this video, I want to want you to um, understand this concept called drop shipping as well. This is for people who want to become an Amazon seller in India, but don't want to store the products. So in drop shipping, the inventory and the shipping is taken care of by the manufacturer of the product. As an Amazon seller in India for that product, your job would be to market it well, to get the traffic to that product, to make sales, to deal with the customers, to deal with returns and refunds, etc but you don't have to deal with procurement of the product or inventory or even shipping. But I'm not going to go into the details of drop shipping because that could be another video in itself. But I hope this video on how to become an Amazon seller in India helped you out to gain clarity on how you can get started as well. If you have any specific questions on this, comment below and let me know and I would love to answer them for you. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.